This is part one of two on refining goals and introduction to designing assessment. We're going to cover the learning objective, evaluate and improve goals using CLE, Bloom's Taxonomy, and A, B, C, D in this slide deck. Uh, first we'll start with evaluate and improve goals using CLE. Uh, here are some sample goals and assessments to, to use as exercise for improving. So here's a goal teach Chinese vocabulary. Here's an assessment. What Chinese words do you know? And so forth. We'll use these examples uh, throughout the slides. So how could you use CLE to try to improve these goals? Uh, the second one is understand circle area, law of gravity, increased math, self-efficacy, better self-regulated learning. So you should consider how the knowledge categories of CLE might be relevant and use those categories to answer these two questions here. Which of CLE's knowledge categories does each learning goal appear to belong? And are there better related goals than the ones expressed, for example, that may be in different categories? So think about how you can answer those questions. Which of CLE's knowledge categories does each goal appear to belong? teach Chinese vocabulary, does it belong as a kind of fact, a constant-constant relationship? Uh, here, look at that, Chinese vocabulary right there. That's straightforward. <laughs> so that's a fact. How about understand the circle area formula? Well, that's a little bit tricky. The word understand isn't so clear. Does that mean you can apply it? Uh, in which case it might be an skill or can you explain it in which case it might be a principle uh, so here's some answers to those uh, law of gravity is a principle and skill of both general application which may be a nonverbal skill and explanation a verbal description of the law of gravity are desired then it might be both um, you can think about the other two here so to be clear knowledge components are not just about subject matter domain knowledge. A knowledge component is generally defined in the CLE paper as an acquired unit of cognitive function or structure that can be inferred from performance on a set of related tasks. So acquired is important because we don't consider knowledge components things that you already know before you start up a course or things that are already a fixed part of the way the brain works. It's an acquired unit of cognitive function or structure. And it can be inferred from performance or from student behavior, uh, usually on a set of related tasks. So here are some possible examples of domain general knowledge components. Here are some about metacognitive strategies. A novice knowledge component might be, if I'm studying an example, try to remember each step. So that's memorizing when, in fact, the desired metacognitive learning strategy should be, if I'm studying an example, try to explain how each step follows from the previous. Uh, motivational beliefs can be knowledge components, but it, remember, uh, they have to be something that can be changed. In psychology, sometimes referred to as malleable. Uh, changed uh, goes to the point of uh, it's something that can be acquired weren't able to do it before, or didn't believe it before, and now do believe it. Um, and we can infer it from students' performance on tasks. Um, can we, for example, on a survey, ask students questions about their beliefs? They might have a novice belief, I'm no good at math. A more desired motivational belief is, I can get better at math by studying and practicing. Or here's a social communicative strategy, a novice one. When an authority figure speaks, remember what they say. This is very straightforward knowledge telling. Whereas a more desired one is repeat another's claim in your own words and ask whether you got it right. This is knowledge building, uh, uh, involving uh, getting ideas in your own terms, but then checking back with your communicative partner. Uh, so think about these. Can these be assessed? Can they be learned? Can they be taught? Is broad transfer possible? Uh, no easy answers on these, but they're worthwhile questions to think about and pursue. So here's a summary of 
answers to those five goals and what KC category they're in. Uh, let's think about uh, how we can improve these goals based on those key categories. So uh, see the next slide to propose improvements to these goals, indicate improvement, and how CLE justifies it. So that's your, that's your thinking goal. That's what you should be testing yourself on to see if, if you're starting to understand CLE and its use in uh, the goal setting phase of e-learning design. Uh, so how can CLE aid goal evaluation and improvement? It can help you evaluate the scope of goals. Do you have some goals in all the categories? Because in most domains, usually there are facts and skills and principles. Uh, don't focus too much on facts if the key goals are toward generalization or sense making. Generalization being skills, sense making being principles. Another thing you can try to do is make sure the goal is specific enough to indicate a KC or a small set of related KCs. Often goals are very, way too general in their expression. Make sure goal statements use specific action verbs, and we'll see this over and over again. Examples of action verbs specific to CLE categories are for facts, recall, or recognize, for skills, apply, solve, evaluate, design, create, for principles, explain, exemplify, compare, and contrast. Notice the verb understand isn't anywhere on this list. Why is that? think about that. Why isn't understand on this list? We'll come back to that. Okay, so you can uh, apply plea to target specific goals and, and the scope of those goals. And here are some of those, uh, some of those ideas. So let's take as an example uh, using these ideas to try to improve, fix, or improve upon this uh, goal statement. Understand the circle area formula. How can we make that a better goal statement? Well, if we're after facts, we can have a more action verb, recall, the circle area. We can observe recall. We can't observe understanding, so we want observable action verbs. Apply the circle area formula to solve problems. That's a skill-based version of that. The last one here is a principle-oriented version of this. Explain how the circle area formula is similar to the triangle area formula. If, if you're into math, that's a fun thing to try to do. Uh, the slide notes give you an answer. So another recommendation here is to make sure the goal is specific enough to indicate a KC or a small set of related KCs. That applies in the prior example. It especially applies in, in this example evaluate this goal using the above statement better self-regulated learning a bit general isn't it uh, how can we make it more specific of course the key premise here is that becoming a good self-regulated learner requires lots of individual skills so here are some new versions that try to be more specific engage in self-explanation when studying a worked example that's a kind of self-regulated learning skill and if those terms aren't we're starting to use these terms in the papers and so forth but later in the course we'll talk about both the work example principle and the self-explanation principle uh, number two apply self-testing to it enhance your long-term memory um, this is a principle I'm trying to encourage you to uh, apply in these slides by uh, trying to answer these questions yourself there are many others. There's a whole literature on self-regulated learning that includes recommendations like set personal goals, monitor progress. Um, we uh, have a whole unit on this topic in the personalized online learning course. So express these goals as an, an observable behavior is a key notion that falls out of the CLE framework idea that uh, knowledge components aren't directly observable, so we need to set up assessment events or tasks that help us observe so that we can infer unobservable knowledge goals. Again, make sure the goal statement uses specific action verbs, and here are they, some of the examples. Uh, you can apply them to each of the examples above. Uh, why don't you try it yourself for Law of Gravity, if you haven't already here. If law of gravity is a principle, then we might use explain. 
better self-regulated learning is a skill, so apply might be good. Uh, recall a Chinese word uh, for a given English word is a good action word.